the unfulfilled promise of Prime Minister Raoul Lee's $100 million initiative. An editorial by Professor Wall Street. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Raoul Lee's announcement of a $100 million initiative to combat crime in Trinidad and Tobago was met with optimism. However, the promise remains unfulfilled, leading to widespread disappointment and frustration. Here are 10 reasons why this initiative has not been implemented and how it misled the citizens. 1. Lack of follow-through. Despite the initial announcement, there has been no concrete action or follow-up from the government to allocate the promised funds. This lack of follow-through has left communities still grappling with high crime rates. 2. No budget allocation. The finance minister has not allocated the $100 million as directed by the prime minister. Without this crucial step, the initiative cannot move forward, rendering the promise empty. 3. Absence of detailed plan. There has been no detailed plan or timeline provided for how the funds would be used. This lack of transparency raises questions about the feasibility and sincerity of the initiative. 4. Failure to engage stakeholders. Key stakeholders, including community leaders and law enforcement agencies, have not been adequately engaged in the planning process. Their input is essential for the success of such an initiative. 5. No legislative support. The initiative has not been backed by any legislative measures to ensure its implementation. Without legal support, the promise remains a mere statement. 6. Public distrust. The repeated failure to deliver on promises has eroded public trust in the government. This initiative is seen as another example of unfulfilled commitments. 7. Economic constraints. The government has cited economic constraints as the reason for not allocating the funds. However, this contradicts the initial promise made by the Prime Minister, suggesting a lack of realistic planning. 8. Political maneuvering. Critics argue that the announcement was a political maneuver to gain support rather than a genuine effort to address crime. This perception undermines the credibility of the initiative. 9. Inconsistent messaging. There have been inconsistent messages from government officials about the status and progress of the initiative. This inconsistency adds to the confusion and skepticism among citizens. 10. Missed opportunities for impact. The delay in implementing the initiative has resulted in missed opportunities to make a positive impact on crime-ridden communities. The continued inaction has left these areas vulnerable and neglected. In conclusion, Prime Minister Rao Lee's $100 million initiative to combat crime has not been implemented, leading to widespread disappointment and frustration. The lack of follow-through, budget allocation, detailed planning, stakeholder engagement, legislative support, and consistent messaging has misled the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. It is crucial for the government to address these issues and take concrete steps to fulfill its promises and restore public trust. Was this another lie by PM Raul Lee?